Welcome everyone to the Centerville Rain Garden. We're glad you guys could make it out here today. We're here to um, honor Rebecca Merkel with her Girl Scout Gold Award. Uh, we built this garden in 2007 as part of a, a grant the county got. Uh, it's a stormwater best management practice, which uh, abbreviates to BMP. And essentially it means it's treating the impervious surface that you hear at the library. It's treating the roof of the library as well as this parking lot um, for a total of 13,000 square feet of impervious, uh, impervious area that this garden is treating. To give you an idea of how much water that is, the garden can hold 25,000 gallons of water, which is equivalent to a, a two-year storm or a three-inch rain event. So um, sediment essentially is trapped in this garden and periodically it needs to be cleaned out, which we recently uh, did with the help of the county and our partners, the Queen Anne's County Master Gardeners, who regularly weed and maintain the garden. Um, so I'll let Rebecca give a little bit um, of an overview about what her project was uh, this year, what she's been working on. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Rebecca Merkel. I'm the Girl Scout Gold Award that has helped revamp this garden a little bit. Um, so basically a little background about the Gold Award is it's the highest level in Girl Scouting. So I've been a Girl Scout since I think my first year of kindergarten. So I was about four or five. So this is my 11th or 12th year of Girl Scouting which means when I complete this, I'll go in through all the ranks and get all the awards. And this is my last award that I can achieve. And the Gold Award is basically identifying a problem in your community and creating a long lasting impact to solve it. So when I got here and I saw this, I saw that the rain barrel that was already in place had been damaged. It was broken a little bit and it was kind of looking a little sad, as well as the sign. The sign was also waterlogged, a little like damp kind of. And basically, I saw that that was the problem we needed to identify. So after that, I got with my team, my wonderful team here, and we come together to form a plan. So over the past couple of months, I've been making rain barrels. I've made eight at my house, and I sold them to be able to raise the funds to buy this new sign. In addition to that, I made the rain barrel that we just put in at the library. It has a wooden wrapping around it, so that way it's not too aesthetically unpleasing. It matches the background and overall looks great. And it should be long-lasting enough to support the garden for the needs, at least for a couple of years, make maybe five, we're thinking. Um, in addition to that, the Girl Scout Gold Award also wants to have a really long, like after you finish the project, you want to leave a mark. So in addition to the sign and the rain barrel, I also created a YouTube video about how rain barrels are good for the environment and what they do and also how to make them. And rain barrels are very good for the environment as they help solve the problem about water and they solve flood issues and they store the water. You can use them for plants and vegetation, everything you want. So we want to really just um, focus on the idea that rain barrels are good and that's what we did in our video. So we focused on how rain barrels are good, how to make them and what they do for the environment and then we transferred that here to the garden where we now have a new rain barrel and a new sign. In addition to the sign, we also added the QR code for the YouTube videos. That way, all you have to do is take out your phone, take a little picture, and then you're going to be transported to the YouTube video where you can learn all about it. Okay.